Hey, welcome back to another glorious day here in the central highlands of Vietnam. And uh, the air is nice and cool and the rain has kind of blown away a little bit. You can see beautiful sky there. So it does rain intermittently, but that's just life at the moment because it's rainy season. But um, I just wanted to show you the the house, the red brick house is under construction. Look, they've got the siding going on and they've gone for that standard green stuff, which I think, why bother with that? They could have white, red, blue, numerous colors, silver, but they all seem to go for green. I don't know why, maybe it's the cheapest, I guess cost is a bit of an element here but uh, yeah all the country look at the lush green after the rain it's so green recently so my neighbors they've opened a cafe look so they're doing uh, milk tea coffee so they've uh, cemented the front here which is nice and tidy now it was a bit ugly in the past but yeah it's coming together nice there's a load of construction going on around here um, typical Vietnamese and in their industrious nature they'll try and make a business oh look look who's just appeared wow wow look at that gorgeous woman I think I'm gonna go home and have a beer with her see you okay so I just dropped off the bike at the in-laws house and I'm just walking up the street that we ride down every day I just wanted to show you this lovely green in the neighbor's garden Wow, look, so I can see this in the distance from our new house around. You can see just this lush lime green color and it's lettuce, young lettuce. Or leaf green. So this, these, these leaves will be going on pho or some kind of wrap. And the house there um, is Cousin Vung's wife's family's land, this area. They're all farmers in this area. Um, and I will, I'll be going to Cousin Vong's house to check out his kitchen shortly, so stick with us, that'll be another episode on the kitchen saga. So yes, basically I've just finished work in Dak Doa and I went up to our school to meet Tui and just help her tidy up and shift the tables and chairs and stuff. And then we're both back home now for lunch and... Yeah, what else is happening? That's about, I think tonight we're going out in a jolly, so more about that later. But yeah, I've got my monkey suit on again. Hello, babykins. Ooh. Okay, so welcome back to Adventures in Vietnam. And uh, I do like a good adventure. So here we go, folks. Uh, some of you are asking, what, what was the reason for the pink paint? Well, as, as you know, I've got a young girl, Maya, who's two and a half, and she likes pink. And I wanted to um, involve her in, you know, some of the activities and things that I'm interested in doing. So I thought one way was to let her choose the colour to paint the brewery box. And lo and behold, she chose pink. So being a good daddy, I went with that. And also um, one of my favourite guitarists, John Squire from the Stone Roses. He played a uh, pink a salmon pink um, Fender Stratocaster and a few other guitarists I like also have a pink 1957 I think it was 1957 or maybe 1960s um, salmon pink Fender Stratocaster so I thought well you know why can I not have a salmon pink coloured toy and make adult beverages eh so da da <laughs> so this is what I've been doing with the spray paint I, uh, I let Maya choose the colour and I sprayed the door for my uh, brewery panel, salmon pink. So let me just hook it onto my contraption. So yeah, I haven't really got a good way to hang the thing. So what I did is I got a coat hanger. I just bent the coat hanger. Luckily it hooks onto the back of there. Just, just about. If there's any, okay, that's better. That's hooking on better there. Okay, so then I'm gonna spray this thing and the tree a little. Okay, so it's salmon pink at the moment or baby pink or whatever color you want to call it. So let's go. The next color I'm going to add to it's going to be some red and then some silver. So I'm going to try and uh, blend the spray paints together to give like a metallic red. See, I'm going to see what happens. I'm not sure what's going to happen when I do this, but. So 180 sandpaper. So 
So yeah, I'm just gonna sand it down roughly so that the spray paint adheres to the surface of the control panel box a bit more evenly. Um, if you look at it now, it's quite a rough finish on here. They've just sprayed it with a spray gun, but it's really bubbly and rough. So hopefully I can um, uh, sand down the surface areas, the bubbles, and the spray paint will sit in the channels and the wells and evenly um, flatten out, hopefully. I can see it a little bit. I'll edit out this some of this because um, it'll be way too long or I'll speed it up. I won't be painting in the back, by the way, because that's going to be wall mounted. Okay, that's pretty good. So I'm just going to wipe all the dust and stuff off now and then I'll stand the box up or I might leave it the way it is so that the spray paint will go on flat and uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to be blending pink, red and silver to see what effect I can get. So let's give it a go. Wipe it down. So yeah, I found an old t-shirt. So I'm just going to give it a wipe down, get all the dust off. This is just a test. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. But yeah, I'm going to give it a go with. God, we had a, we had a streaker before I was rudely interrupted by the streaker. As I was saying, as I was saying earlier, I'm going to go for uh, pink, red, and silver and see what kind of effect I can get on the, the box. So, what I'll do is I'll um, switch the door and the box over on the, the tree and see what happens. So, let's go. And uh, the sunshine has kind of disappeared a little bit because the grey rain clouds have been looming. It looks like it's going to rain. I can see the winds picking up as well. So it looks like we might have a shower. And because it's rainy season, the last four weeks or so have been uh, intermittent showers and um, patches of sunshine. But at least today I found out what I want to do with my brewery panel and that is I want to paint it another colour, not pink. Although Maya really loved the pink colour and kind of kind of convinced myself I thought it'd be a good colour, but in in reality, pink's not very a good a very good colour for uh, for a man's brewery. So, but if I look at it the other way, the DIY shop didn't have any primer, so I would have to prime the thing anyway with some paint. So the pink was just. Um, you know, sacrificial can of paint just to, to give it a nice base coat. I'll sand it down because it fell on the grass and there's little bits of grass stuck to it. It's not so bad. The spray paint being what it is, um, the grass hasn't really stuck to it proper, but there's a few marks. So I'll wipe out you go. There's one mark there. It probably won't come off without a little bit touch of sandpaper. So I'll just lightly sand those rough bits, get them, get them nice and smooth again. I'm going to go for red completely. I think the rain's about to come down. I'm not going to be able to spray, I think. That's an ominous cloud over there. So um, I think I better just crack open a beer and just chill for a bit, see what happens. There we go. Have a lunchtime beer. Beer Saigon, yeah. Cheers. I do like lager. Okay, so, got the spray. <coughs> We're going for salmon pink first. Luckily there's no wind today, so that's right. Bloody beautiful clear day. Okay, so I was watching somebody spraying on YouTube and seems that they were doing it that way. So let's go, let's see what happens. Okay, find me rhythm. Okay, leave that to dry for a minute. Maya, go back inside and put some clothes on, please. 
We don't need any streaking two-year-old girls in the video. No, I don't want to argue with you. No, go inside and put your pants on. No, no, I'm busy. No, don't come down the stairs. Daddy get angry if you do that. No. No, <laughs> yes, no. Go inside and put some clothes on, you nutcase. Bloody hell. Okay, goodbye. Here, put some clothes on, please. That looks awesome. Okay, that's pretty good so far. Let's just have a quick look. I'll show you how I've done so far. Okay, that's a pretty clear looks quite even maybe down there needs a little bit more so let's have a look get the spray can and have a look see what i can do Now I'm going to do the red. Let's get that back on there. Okay, let's go, go, go. Get the red out. Something up with the nozzle. Silver. Wow. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but this pink, silver, red thing seems to be... Okay, I think I'm going for silver. The reds are no good. Silver and pink. That'll be cool. Oh god damn, we have to sound that down now. Damn it. Okay, so um <clears throat> Mr. Pink. Maybe I can just spray this here next to it. Yeah, okay, that'll do. Oh, the box, the underside of the box. Okay. Dust off some of that crap. And we'll get back on with, uh, I think I'll give it a red base first. Okay, give it a white. 
We just got a rough wipe. Okay. Let's go. Coat of red first. Actually, I do like the red. The red looks really cool. Bright red. Might have to do the, I might just have to do it red. I might have to bite the bullet and just do it 211 red because that looks awesome. Change the red lamps for green. So, like a couple of dollars for the thing. So, all the components I can switch are red box, blue lamps, yellow lamps, green lamps. They all look pretty cool. It looks stunning red, it's super vibrant. I'll let that dry. Wow. Oh, I really do like the red. That's cool. Okay, let's just do this. Let's get straight onto it. Let's just keep going with the red. around without getting covered in paint like for example like so okay maybe I can spray that area as well okay let's get going go on with the red let's keep going wow it looks awesome in red yeah, so pink was Maya's kind of choice colour, but the red just looks awesome. So I only bought a few cans of paint. I've got another pink one. So what I'll do is I'll use them as a base and uh, I'll, uh, I'll just keep them for future things. It's only a dollar a can, maybe dollar twenty. So, I mean, I can see already the red paint, maybe one or two coats there. I've only used a small amount in this can, so the actual pink can, I can probably take that back and swap it for red. Um, they're, they seem pretty cool there, they'll be okay if I swap. Let's go, go, go! Okay, we'll do another switcheroonie. Here we go. Just keep going while we're on a roll. Not damaging anything there. already that tree somebody cut down this way because it was, it was rotten Fucking fly. Okay. God damn you. Bloody cheap, cheap coat hunger. Just let me know. Uh, my little experiment with the spray paint didn't go as planned and the spray nozzle on the silver and the red weren't so even. Uh, I decided to jump on the bike and head up to the 
DIY center and exchange one can of pink for red because the red is the way to go. It just looks super sonic. So give me a gin and tonic and let's go. That's what I was doing. I was spray painting this thing pink, as you can see. It looks, it's, it's a beautiful color, but maybe for some of you, this is the first time you've seen this. This is the door of uh, electric box and I've cut all the component holes in there. Um, power key, power light, alarm light, alarm. These will be the temperature controllers, some lamps, some switches, and this is gonna be the power um, amp and watt meter, show me how much power I'm using, how much power I'm receiving. So there you go. It looks beautiful and pink though, but I'm, I'm really happy I painted it anyway because it's, it's given it a nice smooth finish rather than the rough factory finish it had, which was terrible and it got burnt when I was grinding and cutting the holes. A lot of it got damaged due to the heat because the grinder is, um, kicks out such a temperature that a lot of it got, the paint got burnt, it was brown, so definitely had to paint it regardless. And I definitely had to prime it regardless. So the pink paint, again, just a sacrificial couple of cans of paint. And the next red paint will be the nice clean finish. Um, and I'm wondering where I'm going to do that. Hmm. I should I do it now before the rain comes? And the winds pick up as well. So I don't really want any grass or some crap to, to blow onto it. Anyway, let's get going. Let's have a look, see what we can do. Okay, well, luckily I got the... Uh, the cabinet sprayed and uh, hanging up underneath the pig shed. Hopefully they'll be okay out of the rain there. They are hanging in all their glory. There you go, folks. You'll see this, is, this was the pig shed. Now just full of farming knickknacks. Okay, so it's dried up again and it's time to get back onto the box. So look at these two beauties. So I'm going to go back to the door. Let's grab the door off of there. I'm going to take this beautiful red door and spruce it right up. So, bye bye pink. It's, it's pretty, pretty in pink, wasn't she? Okay, can I hang you in there? Are you going to stay on there, baby? Okay, just about. Is that going to be sprayable at that angle? Okay, hang on, just let me get this door ready. Okay, I'm gonna crack open a new can of spray paint. Probably got another coat of red on here before the rain comes. Okay, let's go. coming on again okay oh we made it back indoors quickly that was cool okay as you can hear the rain's come on so i'm just gonna hang this thing up somewhere god knows where oh shit the clothes are out okay so successful trip to the hardware store and i exchanged the pink paint and i picked up an extra two cans of red paint and I was a busy boy spraying mainly the door on um, the sides of the main box. But the door is looking really beautiful, a nice, rich, bright red color. 
um, the box is still drying, so the color is a little bit uneven right now, but as it stands, look at that. That's cracking color. Nice proper Aberdeen red. Yeah, come on you reds. So I'm gonna do that right now. So let's get going. Let's get some red on there. Okay, Maya, hello. How's your red car? Okay, watch out. Don't touch Daddy's phone. Daddy's just gonna give us a quick another spray of paint. Watch. Look at that lizard. See the lizard? Daddy, look. Daddy, look. Okay, I'm going to paint it red. Yes, please. Just wait, okay? Okay, so here we go. Daddy, don't paint the red. Okay, thank you. I'm going to paint it red. Yes, here. Her legs, the mosquitoes. So it doesn't get his foot bit now. Get in the hand of the spray. Okay, so thank you very much for watching our channel. Remember, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, please share these videos with family and friends and tell them about adventures in Vietnam. Again, thanks, guys. See you in the next adventure. Yay. Bye.